Throughout the series we've only seen two hellhounds and those were Jordan Parrish and Holland. Both of their bodies were used as hosts for the spirit of the hellhounds due to them dying at some point. Parrish died in Afghanistan then he was immediately possessed by Cerberus. No one knows how or when Holland died but it was confirmed that he's over a hundred years old. They are protectors of the supernatural their job is to keep the supernatural world a secret from the human world. This is hilarious to me because most people in Beacon Hills are aware of the supernatural. This is why Cerberus the hellhound who possessed Parrish was so adamant about chasing the beast and fighting it every time it appeared because a creature that large going around and ending people would not be hard to notice. Ghost riders are powerful supernatural creatures that ride the storm and take people into the wild hunt. When they take people everything about them is slowly erased until they are completely forgotten, they are not evil or good. The creator of Teen Wolf Jeff Davis has explained that if you see them as they pass through your town, they'll take you and make you a part of the wild hunt. Ghost riders are unable to leave a town until everyone from there has been taken. Kitsunes are Japanese fox spirits who can live for many centuries and they become more powerful the more they age. They possess the same abilities as werewolves, superhuman strength, speed and healing. Each kitsune possesses different abilities that are element-based. They are dark kitsunes that are referred to as void, they feed off strife, chaos and pain. The void kitsune was resurrected because of the sacrifice by Scott, Styles, and Allison in Season 3. Onis are supernatural pawns meant to do the summoner's bidding. They will not stop until that task has been carried out unless they're killed. Silverfinger explained in Season 3b that Oni seek a dark kitsune, also described as a dark spirit, that has possessed someone. He also said that they are not to be fought but simply endured until they finish their work. The Anukite is a creature that escaped the Wild Hunt after Scott and his pack saved Styles from the Wild Hunt in the first half of Teen Wolf Season 6. Holland trapped it in the Wild Hunt then he created Icon House and locked himself away there in case it returned. Beaton explained that the Anakite, is an ancient shapeshifter, a creature of disharmony. It can turn neighbor against neighbor sowing the seeds of discord and hate. It doesn't need fangs. It doesn't need claws. It uses something far more sinister. When paranoia turns to anger, anger turns to violence, and entire communities tear themselves apart. The creature feeds off the fear and grows more powerful, after it escapes the wild hunt. The Anukite sought out one human and one supernatural creature to be its two halves believing it would make itself stronger by adding a werewolf to its makeup because it was terrified of being trapped in the wild hunt again. Thank you all for watching.